Hi there. Uh, today I wanted to show you and document a a fueling technique for potato cannons that I've never done before. And my goal was to make the fueling process simpler and to not require an extra exhaust port after every shot. So the idea is to have a uh, Venturi fueling um, system, basically a blowtorch head that mixes fuel and air and goes through this tube into the combustion chamber and the tube goes to the bottom and when I open this valve it fills it with a fuel air mixture that is colder and made up of the surrounding atmosphere displacing the spent exhaust gases which are warmer from the previous shot out the barrel and so that serves as an exhaust um, method as opposed to having a valve at the other end of the tank and opening it and also requiring a computer fan on the inside to mix up the gases used from a meter which might be mounted on the side of the cannon. So the idea was just to make things simpler. Um, the drawback is that you have to wait a little while and also count how many seconds of fuel you introduce into the chamber similar to like a hairspray cannon. Um, but it's the easiest way I could get a very consistent um, firing for this type of cannon. So I'm going to demonstrate how this works. And I have a barbecue igniter hooked in here with two nails. You'll notice when I'm firing that there will be multiple clicks. Um, that's because this isn't a very reliable ignition source. So it's not igniting because the fuel air mixture isn't correct. It's, not, it's just not igniting because this is a, a bad igniter. Um, it actually sparks. When it sparks, it ignites every time. So it's very reliable and I plan to make a bigger version of this in the future. So I'll show you how the process works. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 10 seconds of fuel, and a crude valve. I'm just squeezing the tube here to make sure all the pressure goes into the barrel and a piece of cloth to close everything off and oh that's a tight fit okay and ignite okay and so here's the cool part I don't have to wait to exhaust or anything 1001 1002 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. So it displaced all that exhausted gas automatically. And I can fire again. And I actually forgot to put on my valve for the last shot, but it still worked. Electrodes are need to be closer because it's just not sparking right now. There it goes. 1001, surprised it's working because usually everything goes wrong when it's on video but it just goes to show how reliable it is that was a good one so there you go um, doesn't matter how many shots I do as long as I use the same process it works every time uh, what makes it not work though is if you load the ammo and then fuel ah, that's kind of hot 
Um, if you load the ammo and then you fuel, the exhaust gases won't be able to escape and then you'll have an incorrect mixture. So as long as you have a single uh, hole in the tank, then all that gas can escape. And uh, it probably only works if it's right side up too, because uh, gravity helps to um, separate the density by with using the cold air and the hot gases. So it's just an idea that I'm going to move forward with now that I see that it works. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and learned from it.